as a person and what is his legacy. And this is what he said. Uh, viewers watching this program, as you know that we have dedicated these two hours uh, in tribute to His Excellency, who was the former Prime Minister of uh, Ethiopia. Not only is he a son of Ethiopia, and who has put Ethiopia on the world map, but he's also the son of Africa. Some of us have had the chance to meet uh, this honorable gentleman, a world leader. We've been able to see what he has done, as you might remember on this program. We did show you some of the developments that we saw in Addis Ababa ourselves by the lens of this camera. Today, as part of our tribute to His Excellency Melissa Zanawi, we have His Excellency Abede, who is the uh, Ethiopian ambassador here in the UK, who is with us, to share this moment of grief, the grief of Africa and the grief of the whole world. Welcome to our program, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take us through, first of all, before we talk about the man himself, where we're here, through Ethiopia. What has Ethiopia gone through up to the present regime? Ethiopia, under the leadership of Prime Minister Medele Zenawi, has witnessed a big political, economic, and social transformation never witnessed in the history of Ethiopia. Some of the infrastructures that were built under his leadership have not been done in the previous hundred years. He has uh, given us a chance to see great, great and big transformation in Ethiopia. Now, I thought our viewers could be um, happy to know the, the political transition of uh, Ethiopia, where was Ethiopia, what Ethiopia went to, through to reach where we are here now. Ethiopia uh, was before the military dictatorship under a feudal regime, and then the military dictatorship stayed in power for 17 years, and the military dictatorship uh, was uh, uh, deposed by uh, a liberation movement known as EPRDF. After EPRDF came, it introduced a democratic constitution which assures the basic rights of the Ethiopian people and then came up with the three successive five-year development plan, which resulted in a, a big transformation in Ethiopia. The school coverage, the primary school coverage was 100%, reached 100%. The basic health service coverage reached 100%. Universities from two, we had 32 universities. The uh, road the lanes in Ethiopia from a mere 23,000, it has reached 169,000 kilometers. And we are in the process of building three major dams. And the, uh, in the early 90s, Ethiopia was producing merely 450 megawatts. Now it, has, it is producing more than 2,500. And in fact, by 2015, Ethiopia will produce 10,000, more than 10,000 megawatts of electricity not only sufficient for uh, the national consumption, but also sharing to with the neighboring countries, who are friendly and sisterly countries. And by way of doing this, we strengthen regional cooperation and regional understanding. I can enumerate so many achievements under his regime. That's why the whole nation is mourning at the demise of His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. Yeah, I know the whole uh, uh, nation is uh, mourning at the demise of uh, the former Prime Minister and uh, our viewers as well must be sharing this grief with us. But take us through the man himself, the former Prime Minister, Melissa now who is he as a person? The, the, our Prime Minister dedicated himself at the early stage of 19. He committed himself to liberate Ethiopia Ethiopian people from poverty. And he struggled against uh, dictatorial regimes. And uh, he, in fact, he joined uh, uh, the uh, liberation movement at the age of 19 when he was a medical school student. He was one of the brightest <laughs> in Ethiopia. He won a scholarship. And he attended one of the earliest high schools in General Wingate. And he was among the top students when graduating the high school. He joined the medical school. 
usually in the med people who are uh, uh, who have achieved uh, good results will go to medical schools and he successfully reached second year and then he could not accept the political reality of those days and he preferred to struggle for the cause of the people and he joined the liberation movement and after that uh, he led the country into uh, as i have said into a big transformation leap forward and uh, he was uh, uh, an intellectual uh, well-read person who updates himself he is a master of all things and uh, he was providing leadership in every sector. And he's a leader who will be missed in every sector, in all walks of the Ethiopian life. Now, as a, a